everybody, this is Ilana Michelson from ilanamichelson.com. And last week I spoke to you a little bit about dream work. And sometimes I learn something new that's just so amazing, I just have to share it with everybody. So first of all, I'll give you my source. I don't remember the name of the teacher. I think it's Charlie something, but he is teaching a lucid dreaming course on Mind Valley. And that's the course that I'm taking. And what he did was he was talking about how to decode your dreams. Now, in the past, I used to start looking up online and say, what does this thing mean? What does that thing mean? Like from dream dictionaries, things like that. And he gave it a whole new twist that makes things so much more meaningful that I really want to share it. So what he says is that you look at the dream and you look at every part of the dream and you see what meaning that part has for you, not what it has for everybody. For example, for some people, having a cat in a dream could mean something cuddly and soft and, and lovely. And for some people, having cat in a dream could be like something that scratches and something that's unloyal and something that's, you know, sly. So depending on how you feel about the object, what it represents for you, that's the way you would uh, decode the, each object in the dream. Now, he goes on to say, and this actually was very meaningful for me, and I'll give you an example from one of my clients that had a dream where she had this house that always had people in it that were rich, people that she knew that were rich. So for her, she realized that that house represented wealth, being rich. And she realized that she was always on the outside or if she was inside, she was always just their guest. It wasn't her house, it wasn't her wealth, and one of the things that she was working on was wealth. So when she keeps seeing that in her dream, she understands that she's not yet there in terms of the wealth. But if she would at some point see herself as owning the house, that it's her house, then she might realize that she's gone and done all the work she needs to do to get to the wealth. And my guess is that pretty soon after that, if it hasn't yet appeared in her life, it will appear in her life, all that wealth. So why don't you try looking at your dreams, going through each object of importance in the dream that you remember, see what meaning they have for you, not general meaning, just what they have for you, and then go back and retell the dream using the meaning or the representation, not the actual objects, and then see what message it has for you. It could be a message in terms of what you still need to work on. It could be a message to show you how far you've come. It could just be things that you've worked on throughout the day and showing you how it's rearranging things and how it's doing things in your mind. Because I do believe that sleep time is a time when your unconscious mind gets rid of all the weeds, all the unnecessary thoughts, all the things that are no longer necessary. And it does it also through the dream work. Now, one more important thing I should say, and that is that many people tell me they don't remember their dreams. The moment you start talking about your dream, when you remember it or writing it down, your dream body or whatever it is that's causing a dream inside, your unconscious mind, understands suddenly, oh, this is important to her or to him. Now, I will let him remember more of the dreams. And in such a way, you'll be able to get a better handle on what's going on in the inside of you not just on the outside of you, and where you might want to change things still. Now, you can still change it within the dream, and when you do change it in the dream, my opinion, in the world according to Ilana, is that you'll see the changes in your real life as well. Anyway, have a great day. Hope this was as helpful to you as it was to me.